What's going on, Anthony Grillo? These lots. Today was uh, Saturday. Spent the day at Yankee Stadium. You can see over here in the clip. Um, I got a bunch of footage that I'm going to grade out. That I shot with the Black Magic uh, Pocket Cinema. But after the game, we went to the Hard Rock Cafe, and I am a what you call a guitar fanatic. Uh, my own uh, Gibsons. Les Paul, uh, a Martin guitar acoustic myself. So whenever I see all these beautiful instruments, I just have to, I'm just drawn to them. But the lesson that I wanted to show you guys today was twofold. One was how to stabilize shaky footage in DaVinci Resolve, which is of a huge benefit with my shaky caffeinated hands and non-stabilized lens due to the speed booster being added to the black magic with my lens the nikon 24 to 120 f4 which has image stabilization but does not work because the speed booster it doesn't communicate so lo and behold let me show you here the clip uh and i'll turn the volume down so this is um uh kiss's guitar uh he took out the um i'll show you he took out the top humbucker uh, up here, uh, which makes sense. Uh, not many uh, guitar heavy rock band guitars usually use that, except for Slash, who uses it a lot in uh, the upward position, which ironically enough, the switch for that humbucker is up here, which is actually on, which is pretty interesting because switching it down activates the lower humbucker, which majority of your tunes are played in anyway, except for Slash solos, most of them. Anyway. Back to what I was talking about. If we play this out, you can see that even though I'm um, I'm recording, even though I'm showing you guys in, in the best I can with the I, I show you HD, you can see the image is moving around. I have shaky hands, yada yada. So what you want to do to make this stable is grab it and bring it back to the beginning, right to the beginning clip, right. Then you want to locate. Uh, what's it one two three four over from your curve you'll see that you're in window but you want to do is drop it down into stabilizer and make sure you're at the beginning of the clip press forward you'll see it starts to do some crazy mystical magical stuff that costs you no money because guess what DaVinci Resolve is a free tool in, in what world do we live in where this tool is free I mean you could download this right now from Blackmagic's website and, and start using it to grade and it costs you no money and you didn't even have to buy a stabilized lens. So what this is actually doing is the algorithm is going through the, the clip, analyzing the data. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just making that up as I go. I'm sure something really phenomenal is happening back in, in the back end with numbers. So once you get done with the clip, then you have to do it backwards. So click uh, right over here and go backwards. You'll see that the, the um, playhead will actually start to go in reverse. So it's actually analyzing it again using all those algorithms that the very smart, smart engineers of Black Magic and DaVinci Resolve have created for us to click on buttons and magically stop our hands from shaking. So as soon as this gets done, we will stabilize it with one final step. And then we're going to add a special James Miller LUT package, uh, LUT, LUT to it, and that's going to be Lincoln. And as soon as it gets done, so watch it. When I click stabilize, you'll pay attention to the clip up here. You'll see it jump. You'll see it jump ever so slight. Did you see that? If you didn't, go back and watch it again. You can see that it 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 it, it uh, jumps in and it stabilizes. So if you, if I play it now, nothing, no movement, steady. How do you like that? How do you like those apples? So that is a beautiful thing. It's not even moving. This is shot through glass, by the way, too. So um, is, if it's a little bit unclear through the YouTube compression, it's because I shot through glass into the uh, Gibson Les Paul. So let's get to grading. Let's uh, uh, Alt S on your Mac. We're going to throw out four serial nodes. Right click. If you don't know how to serial node, add a serial node. Click on nodes and just add serial node. But you can do Alt S on your Mac. Um, so once you have that, right click. Go to 3D LUT, locate your Lincoln, and watch the magic. Oh, oh, that is very nice. So a couple things that we're going to do, we added the stabilizer. 
if you go into the key, you can actually pull down the effect of that, that LUT. So as you pull it down, see that? It goes down. So you could actually bring back some of the wood in the background. Let's, let's bring it to 70-ish, right about there. That looks really nice. So we'll do a little quick before and after. Really nice, really beautiful. Let's go back to serial node number one. Let's make it larger. Let's go into our curves. Make sure they are unganged. They are unganged. Let's make our screen a little bit larger. Let's pull up in our middle, maybe up to here a bit. Right about there. Let's pull up a little bit on our red channel. That looks really nice. That bringing out that nice uh, Gibson Les Paul color. That's really nice. Pull it, pull down a little bit on our blues. Bringing out that sunburst. I think that's Heritage Cherry Sunburst. But that that wood grain is phenomenal. My my Gibson does not have those lines across the wood like that does. But that is a beautiful, 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 beautiful guitar nonetheless. So let's go into uh, serial node number two. Let's go into our primary wheels. Make sure we're in log. Let's add some contrast to this puppy. Nice, right about there. A little quick before and after. Nah, nice. We could add a little bit more. That's great. That's great. That's great right there. I love that. All right. So going into serial node number three, and we're just gonna we're gonna sharpen it up from here because um, I really like what the uh, the Lincoln LUT, the Lincoln LUT has done. So we're sharpening it up right about there. 40, 45, one more down. Go to four, yeah, 44. So four was where our LUT was. So let's do an Alt S and we're going to do our uh, boom reverse saturation curve as we generally do. You can see this pulls out a lot of the color. So this is really a, you know, where you can custom dial the look that you love so much. You can really bring that wood grain out or not. You can bring it down even, you can bring it down low. So it's just kind of like that key tool that we were talking about earlier. So we can, then you can pull it down in the, in the shadows, a little bit like that. And then voila, here's what we have. Let's make it big by hitting Command F on your Mac. And then if you wanna do Alt D, you can see it before and after. So look how it wasn't even sharp. It had no life to it. But that Lincoln LUT with the image stabilization, beautiful thing, right? Let's play, you could play it out. Not that it's gonna matter because it doesn't play out the way I like to show in full speed, but it is playing out right now um, at a terrible, terrible pace. So make it small, hit play. You can see it's playing at uh, four or five frames a second, but it's not moving anymore. It's steady as a rock. So that was a pretty much a double lesson for you guys today. Well, I actually showed you actually, yeah, well, three things. I showed you the Lincoln LUT. I showed you guys how to use the key to dial back the, uh, the LUT strength, if you will. You can, you know, really pull up the strength, pull it down to where you like to really dial it in. I mean, that's a personal preference, but, you know, these, these, these uh, lessons that I do aren't specifically designed to tell you exactly how to do anything. They're more or less a guide to helping you use the tool if you did, weren't aware of how to use a tool. So we went over that. We went over the stabilizer. And that, those are two very, very important, super important um, tools to know within DaVinci Resolve. And that is all I wanted to show you guys. So we will make it large yet again. The stabilizer, we will make it a little quick before and after. And then we will get you guys out of here for the day. And then I'll start grading those, those Yankee Stadium uh, images that I took today. Uh, I'll actually show you one right now uh, that was shot in uh, Pro Res HQ. This is uh, Brett Gardner. He's on second. He had just stolen second. And score at this point was 0-0 zero zero before it went crazy. And the Yankees gave up 10 runs in the third. Uh, seats were good. They were high. The sun was hot. So we'll get to grading those images later on down the road. All right, guys. Thank you so, so very much. It's always a pleasure to show you guys some uh, some some videos about DaVinci um, and all its special features, and especially James Miller's Love Package, which I think is a phenomenal bargain uh, out there in the world of LUTs and what you can do with them. 
And there you go, Kiss. There's your guitar. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys all next time. I am Anthony Grillo. This channel is these Lutz. And Yankee, uh, Yankee Clips coming up next time. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.